Hey guys, okay, so for today we're going to talk about man's impact on soil, be it dangerous or positive. So basically we're going to talk about how harmful our actions are on soil and what we can do to conserve soil. So for the first part we actually have mining. Yes, mining. So in any case, when we talk about mining, there is a loss of vegetation because of course we need to clear the land of the of the trees and all that so that we can have access to the land so we can mine it. Now in this case, uh, there are also different chemicals that are involved that can cause soil pollution. So there will be an imbalance in soil, therefore affecting the microorganisms living there and affecting the fertility of the soil so if, it, if it can be used for farming in the next couple of years. Now this eventually yields poor soil quality. After that, we also have deforestri deforestation, so cutting up trees. Now, because of the loss of vegetation, we oftentimes end up with erosion. Uh, so, because there's not enough roots that actually holds the soil together, it then travels off into different directions and then not. There can also it can also, it can also be prone to flooding because there are there are no plants that can absorb the water. So from that, soil is eventually lost because of the runoff, because of all that water sweeping away that soil, all the wind sweeping away that soil. And of course, because of the loss of the plants, because of the, uh, this can also actually affect the loss of microorganisms, there is poor soil nutrition. So from that, urban development, ding, urban development actually affects um, soil quality as well. So in a way, what happens is that there is soil pollution because of the impact of the different chemicals that man use, specifically for cement. Cement actually tends to heat up the soil, affecting its qualities, affecting the organisms that live there. Such from that, a soil becomes more collapsible because there is a loss of foundation. And of course, deforestation also affects urban development, so leading back to the, to the previous topic we talked about. So aside from that, there's also thing farming. So when we talk about farming, there's a chemical pollution of the soil brought about by pesticides. Now what happens again, there's a change in the microbiome or the population of the microorganisms living there. And of course, there is also overgrazing. So what is overgrazing? It's when farm animals, specifically uh, rudiments that actually feed on grass, uh, they end up uh, compromising the nutrients because uh, they tended to eat up all the grass in the area. So therefore, um, there's not much time for the soil to renew during all that overgrazing. So aside from that, there's also dam construction. So if you look at the image over here, uh, there's a part in the dam that is actually the water reservoir. So what happens here is that uh, there's an increased water level there. And that makes it prone to flooding. That makes the soil prone to being swept away by the water. So therefore, promoting soil erosion as well. So dam construction must be responsible as well. So, I, so therefore, these are just some problems. These are just some impacts that happen because of our actions. And that soil, therefore, is a critical natural resource. And that it's important to actually take care of soil because it's still, it's not, it's, it's not such a renewable resource that it can easily, it can, it can easily be renewed. It takes 500 years for them to even get two centimeters back. So therefore, there is a need to do steps that, such that we can conserve soil. So for the next part, we're going to talk about sustainable use of soil. So first we have your crop rotation. So what happens in your crop rotation is that we try to grow a variety of crops in the same piece of land across different seasons. So therefore, because of the rotation of the crops and that different crops have different uh, needs for minerals, therefore, this gives the soil time to relax and try to get back its, its inorganic material, giving the soil time to rest. Because what happens is that if we tend to plant just one type of crop, it it actually speeds up the usage of the resources in the soil, resulting to poor soil quality. So crop rotation actually gives time for the soil to rest and renew itself. Aside from that, we also have wind breaks. So wind breaks, 
wind bricks are generally walls of shrubbery that are designed to protect crops and even people from harsh winds. So because of the wind bricks, because they stop the wind from coming in, generally soil stays intact. Soil is not swept away. Aside from that, we can also use contour plowing. So contour plowing tries to follow the contours of the land and that the establishment of ridges actually help combat erosion because of the uneven levelings, because it's not just downward. So there, were, there are structures to actually stop the soil from um, just eroding downwards. Aside from that, terracing is actually another strategy that we can employ when we do um, planting, we do farming. Such that um, there, well, what terracing actually tends to promote is that it prevents soil erosion and extensive water loss in the soil as well. So therefore, conserving both soil and water resources at the same time. Now we also have this thing called conservation tillage. What this does is that uh, crop residue is not, there's the absence of blowing. So therefore, what is left, the crop residue that is left, will be um, allowed to stay there. And what this happens is that soil will generally still have the vegetative cover. Now what this does is that since it still has a vegetative cover, it's less prone to water loss and erosion as well. At the same time, this crop residue will be left such that um, it can also be um, used to feed the soil as well. Now, um, for the last part of this video, we are actually going to do our activity. Now, in this case, the activity talks about <coughs> Earth needs memes. Yes, you heard it right, we will be doing memes. Now, in this case, you will have to make a meme that holds a clear message on how to use soil and or, well, how to use soil sustainably. Now, you will have to post it on your social media account. And that you have to tag it with hashtag Earth's <laughs> hashtag Earth needs memes. Now you have to post a screenshot of your work on our, on our um, Google Classroom. So I'll update you with the deadline via our classroom. And for now, I'll see you next time. For the next part, we'll be having water our discussion on water resources as well. So bye bye.